Hey there guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of the Abyss Blind, with your host, Damiel SC. I got a question to ask you all. Between recordings, I went and I wasted a lot of time at the casino, and I managed to get for myself the Wizard Cane, which apparently is worse than the Silver Rod I already had, the Undyne, which is apparently worse than the Partisan I already had, and Soul Steel, which is actually better. But, the wizard cane was like, the mo it cost 50,000 points! Why- what am I missing here? Why is this thing so much- so hard to get, if it's worse than the thing you can just buy at the item shop? I wanna use it, I'm assuming it like unlocks into something else or something? I- I don't know, I don't get it. I'm confused. But, went ahead, um, after last time and our- Lovely. Wait, what? Dr. Nels is a god general? Does that mean Jade is Dr. Nels? Same Jade Curtis, though. Okay, yeah, I've, I've already been there. I can't stop running around like idiots. No one likes idiots. So we'll go to Cutterbird Square. Hey, Jade's not a god general, what am I thinking? That must be, um... I don't know which one it would be, actually. Oh, that poor girl! Is there one on the other side, too? And their whole job is just to keep twisting the thing so that the snowballs keep flying across and let the other ones have fun. That's not fair. It's not fair at all. So, what am I doing in Ketterberg? I mean, it was interesting. There were a lot of mini games, and that was cool. But I, I don't, I don't quite understand the p purpose of it. I guess this goes back to what am I doing here? Um, because we docked, and we were getting the hardware repaired, and then they're just like, "Okay, yeah, you're docked," and I kind of am just sort of randomly wandering around now. Oh, here's something. I found something. Huh? What should I do? Is something wrong? Ah, oh, I'm thinking of rebuilding this mansion. Why? It's pretty big. It looks like a nice enough place to live. Oh, no, no. I've already constructed a new mansion for use as a vacation home. So it's not like that I'm having trouble living in this one. I want to sell this place, but homes aren't very popular. So I was thinking perhaps I might start a new business with it instead. And thus they're building, huh? There's, there's, there's got to be some sort of interesting facility I could build. How about going to Sheridan? Yes, I'm sure the devices and artisans of that city could make, could make would be interesting indeed. Sheridan, huh? Now I can imagine those craftsmen could come up with something pretty impressive. Yes, I like that idea. I'm going to Sheridan right away to get started. Thanks. Um... But I thought there was like some sort of edict that you couldn't build new stuff here. I wish I had time to work on it myself. You really like this sort of thing, don't you? So I can't go in the manor. Hello, little one. Okay, yeah, we. I kind of gathered that when I just talked to him. There's the hotel. What do you say? Um, kind of at a loss what to do, guys. Have I been on this side? I've never been the end. I guess I'll just stop in and then I'll go back to the port, I guess. Not staying. I just rested at the hotel for. And how is this a hostel? Man, 300 gold a night is nothing to sneeze at. But okay. Um. Bye, guys. I I I really don't know what I'm supposed to do in Ketterberg. <gasps> Other than buy stuff. So there's like nothing on the. 
Huh. Maybe there is something on the other side of the Petterberg. I'll, 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 I'll range out that way. Because that other exit definitely does lead to the other side, and you kind of you do have to go through the city to get there. So that's a decent observation, I think. So we'll go ahead and head that way. See what we can see. Okay, um, obviously I'm not supposed to take this exit. Well, dang. Maybe I want to go to Mount Rumeral. Although, obviously I don't want to, because if I was going to Mount Rumeral, then I would know where I was going. One would think. So, yeah. Um, bye, guys. See you later, you Ketterbergians. Better bourgeoisie. Huh. This appears not to have been the way I was supposed to go. Obviously, this is the way I'm supposed to go. Through the grass, away from that icky snow stuff, and then get back into that icky snow stuff. Fighting you thing. I refuse. Okay. People have been bugging me. So yes, go ahead. Oh whoa, Luke's still out. Dang it. I thought once you got out of the battle you would come back with one hit point. I'm not using another bloody life bottle. I'll just run back to Ketterberg. hotel right here. But I am I am going to start cooking more because people have been saying, oh my gosh, you have to cook. If you don't cook, you'll die. So I'll start doing that. What was that thing? That thing was scary. I don't like that thing. Yeah, you can see I played a little bit for my 1159. I mean, granted, it was probably closer to 12.30, 12.40 by the time I actually finished, but still. A lot of time spent in the casino. For apparently no reason. So, yeah, um... It looks like the port is on the other side. What is this way? What are the parts of this direction? Oh. Wow, I'm blind. I sure didn't see it. 
Okay, is anything happening here? Yeah, I've been there. Woo. Hello. Oh yeah, there's the girl that won't let me get up in bed with her. How rude is that? Well, something needs to bloody happen. I really do not get what's supposed to be happening right now. Uh, I am kind of disappointed because there's nothing happening there. I've been there. There's nothing happening in Ketterberg Port. There's nothing happening in the Silver World. I can't exit via the top of the Silver World. Holy crap, another one of those things. Those are just normal enemies? I must have missed something. No, oh, this is the hotel. I've already been in here. There's a hotel here. There's the item shop on the other side. Yeah, I've been in the casino. Dr. Neblim. Dr. Nyes and Dr. Balafour. Dr. Nyes must be, um, either Sink or that dude that sits in the chair. So I've been in the casino. <laughs> Twenty thousand? Um, yeah, there's no way. I, how, how many? Let's go. I have six thousand gold because I went and bought a bunch of stuff. Let me in. Let me in. Wait, what's in here? Here's an area I've never been. Well, we'll never know, because I can't get in there. That's Ketterberg Hotel. Have I talked to these people yet? Okay, that goes back down. What's over? What's over this way? I have not been this way. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. I forgot about this place. This side of town. That's a house. Man, he's here to chase money. I'm pretty sure he's still single, though he's in his 30s. What? Don't tell me this is your house, Colonel. If it is, then I'd go ahead and settle for you. Even if it were, I'm afraid I'd decline the offer. But the real owner might take you up on it. He likes every female he lays oh, on. Oh, the anti-guy. Who? His Imperial Majesty Peony. All right, my husband's gonna be loaded! The Emperor wasn't born in the capital? As I recall, he was run out of the capital as a child during a struggle for succession. Yes, that's correct. This mansion is from that era. Interesting. I bet I can't go inside. Yeah, I kind of figured. The throne of Malkuth passes from father to son, right? As a rule, yes. 
Though I do believe the assembly confirmation is required. Huh. So what was with all the problems around Emperor Peony becoming Emperor? The previous Emperor may have had a lot of enemies. Perhaps someone was after his son, his heir. He couldn't have, con could have controlled the information to protect his son. But what would either have been to confine him? And wouldn't a resort town like this be more perilous? There must have been some other reasons. Yeah, they use the same excuse to keep me locked up, too. Politics sure can be a pain for us kids who get caught up in it. Sorry, I was just curious, that's all. It is dist, okay. Two geniuses from Ketterberg, Dr. Balfour and Dr. Gniss. Jade and... Dist. Huh? Dist is a genius? What are you surprised about that, Denise? After all, this is the one who modified your token new guy to change its size. In response to your phonon frequency. Dist th did that? He seems to be a rather lonely man most of the time. Anise, you felt bad for him, always eating by himself. You went and talked to him, didn't you? Yeah, he made Tokenganuga for me. He's not all bad. Mom, he's not all good either. He's always talking about the Colonel. That's quite a distasteful thought. Sounds like both the geniuses here are, well, yeah. Oh, I shall turn you two into Tokenugas as well? I'm no expert, but I think I can manage it. Totanugas? How wonderful. <laughs> Tear. Tear just likes cute things. Whoa. That was weird. Is this a back entrance? Nope, it's locked as well. So what's the point of being back here? Because that transition was weird. I just was like, hey, you figured something out. And then, no, no, you didn't. The governor's residence. And go in here. Let's talk to the hot governor. Are you the hot governor? Well, if you are, you're not talking to me. You're not. I don't think I have business. But I'm entering anyway. Because you never know until you try. Actually, wait, didn't Jade said he was going to come and talk to this person? So I guess I do have business. Jade! Oh, my brother's alive! Oh, brother. And hi, Nefri. What kind of name is Nefri? I'm also curious, why is Jade's last name Curtis if his actual last name is Balafor? Brother? Seriously? Hello, Nefri. It's been a while, hasn't it? Not since your wedding, I believe. What's going on? They said you were killed at Xeriuth. Well, what happened is... That's incredible. I'm just glad you're safe. We'll inspect the Tartarus. Once you're resupplied, please go see Emperor Peony. He's been very worried. Oh? Didn't everyone think I was dead? His Majesty was the only one who believed you were still alive. The rest of you, too. Please wait a bit while we prepare your ship. Okay. This is a tourist city, so I think you'll be safe here. I'll book a room at the inn for you. Please get some rest. If you don't mind, I'd like a word with you. Please come by again later, alone. Wow, Luke, you still got it. I can't help but wonder how precisely... Uh, because obviously she recognized who Luke was, but I'm not sure how she recognized who Luke was. Because Jade didn't recognize him by sight. And I figured Jade would be more informed of, you know, foreign... Well, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Well, I still would be... I'll be curious to know how she knew him so quickly. Okay. So, room at the end. Well, I've definitely already been everywhere. And I'm assuming because this is Jade's sister, they mean the good inn. The hotel.
We've received word from the governor. Please make yourselves comfortable. <laughs> I'm you. Oh, I forgot something at Nefri's place. I'll go get it real quick. Shall I go with you? Nefri's a woman, remember? Oh, I love looking at beautiful women. Guy is most certainly a guy. <laughs> yes, Natalia. Yes, he is. She's an older woman and married, you know. Wait, hold on. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> what other possible way could you have meant it? Master, I'll go with you too. Yeah, everybody just shut up. I don't need anyone to come with me. Luke is subtle as anything. <laughs> Run away, Luke! Run away from your friends! They're trying to help! No! I'm sorry, you're, you're not the most... Why didn't you just go to your room and come later? Whenever you're not having to say, Hey, I have to go to Nefri alone! Don't think anything of it. Totally normal. I'm sorry. When I heard you were a replica, I thought I simply must tell you about my brother. What are you talking about? The reason why Jade created Fomicry. Wait, wait, wait. How do you know he's a replica? How common is this story now? Even now, I still remember that day. I was careless and broke my favorite doll. My brother developed the basis for Fomicry and used it to create a copy of my doll. A replica. He was nine years old. Wow. Unbelievable. Normally, you'd simply buy another doll, but my brother created a copy. But wouldn't he have created a copy that was broken? I felt something abnormal in his way of thinking. Abnormal? You don't have to put it like that. He acts nice now, but as a child, my brother was a terror. A devil. I wouldn't exactly say he acts nice now. He could use phonic arts that adults found difficult. He enjoyed killing even harmless monsters. Hey, leave Mew alone. Jade. My brother didn't understand what it meant for living things to die. He doesn't seem that way to me. It was Professor Nebulum who changed him. She was a healer, a seventh phonist. Oh, so Professor Nebulum's not Jade. I don't know. What do I say? I mean, Jade is obviously a genius, but not one of the town geniuses. Jade can't use the seventh phone on, so he admired her. But a tragedy occurred. He tried to use the seventh phone on and wound up unleashing a phonic art he couldn't control. Jade's phonic art struck down Professor Nebulum and set the building on fire. He killed her? She was still barely alive, just laying there. My brother looked at her and had an idea. There was still time to make a replica. He could save Professor Nebulum. Jade extracted her information and created a replica. But the replica that was born was nothing more than a monster. What happened to the real Nebulum? She passed away. After that, my brother's talents were recognized, and he was adopted into the famous Curtis Because that's why his last family. name is different. So what is your last name? Well, you're married, so I guess it would be something completely different. I think he probably wanted a better environment for studying how to bring back the professor. But he stopped replicating living things. Why? That's thanks to Emperor Peony. Those two are best friends. I see. But honestly... I think deep down, my brother still wants to resurrect Professor Nebulum. I don't really think that's the case. Yes, it may just be a groundless fear. But I still wanted to let you know so that you could help to keep him in check. Oh yeah, definitely. Jade always listens to me. I'm sorry for taking up so much of your time. Thank no, you this was interesting. I'm, I'm glad we did something in this episode other than minigames. I kind of felt bad that I got lost for a while. But hey, <laughs> it pays off at the end, right? So, I presume Nefri's told you. Told me what? You're a naughty boy telling <laughs> lies like that. Yeah, you're not the most subtle. How did you know? It doesn't matter. Though I will say for the record that I no longer desire to resurrect the professor. Really? You're sure? You should know the reason for that better than anyone. I want to beg Professor Neblum's forgiveness so that I might feel better. But replicas have no memory of the past. A replica cannot forgive me. Jade. I'll live the rest of my life pained by the sins of my past. Sins? You mean killing Nebulum? Hmm. 
Perhaps my greatest sin was not understanding the significance of life and death. If I had the ability to make replicas, I think I would have done the same thing. <laughs> Are you trying to cheer me up? You've somewhat missed the mark, but I appreciate the sentiment. In any case, you mustn't tell anyone of this. Understood? All right. That's a promise. Well, that's interesting. So yeah, never. But was kill. I. They all have like end names, don't they? All right. <laughs> I guess we're probably reading this. But yeah, yeah, we're going to Rotel Row Bridge. Why is Nefri considered a beautiful name? I mean, it's not a it's not a bad name by any stretch of the imagination, but beautiful. Mew, what'd you think about what Nefri said? What do you mean? About how Jade killed Professor Niblim. And then worked on his pharmacy to bring her back to life. I don't know. It's too hard to understand. Oh, sorry. I just wanted to ask someone. Didn't you promise not to tell anyone? W Whoa! At this rage, it looks like you'll be breaking that promise sooner than later. N no, I won't really. Me too, really! Well, I saw my doubts, but I believe you yourself can, can understand. But there's no point in discussing it with anyone. Yeah, no one's gonna make excuses for what you've done wrong, and you're not supposed to be looking for them anyway. Indeed, if you put too much effort into making excuses, you end up running from your mistakes. Accepting the truth is a difficult thing to do, but it's also necessary. Yeah. Excellent. And you are, of course, aware that should you tell this to anyone, you will be punished. Yes. I just have to point out that Luke didn't tell anyone. I think that's pretty relevant. Luke did not tell his soul. Because Mew was apparently there. So he didn't tell Mew. Mew, over, Mew learned at the same time Luke did. Cause I am well acquainted with situations like that. Sometimes up at work, somebody will be under investigation and, you know, potentially getting fired. And we can't talk about that. But you better believe that the head of quality and I have some discussions about it because, darn it, head of quality already knows. And so I can talk to them about it. But it's very, very hush-hush other than that. Anyway, I'll go ahead and end the episode here. Tune in next time for Rotelro Bridge and the Return to St. Bina. Or not St. Bina, the return to Grand Chokeba in order to inform them of St. Bina. I keep up with this plot, I know what's going on. How dare you guys doubt me. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Hey, 14 hours on the dot!